Good day to you all. It's Aries and Amorta here, and you're watching the Aries and Amorta channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to mine electronium specifically. I'm going to just go over the minimum specs I would recommend with my experience and success. You're definitely going to need 4 gigs of RAM. So I know where to go. Ah, processor, quad core, quad core or minimum. That's like what my phone's running. This is for like. Bare minimum specs, mobile mining output, you're gonna put like 20 hashes a second. Um, it's not a lot. It's, uh, you'll probably collect like 3 to 5 electronium over the week. Uh, running the apps on your computer, or uh, sorry, cell phone that they're talking about with all the mobile mining. Um, hopefully I'll see more. There's obviously like way stronger phones coming out soon, so it may actually be worth it. Um, I'll just go into the setup I did though. Basically, you're gonna need graphics card, um, a motherboard that supports one. The first one I pulled, I was surprised to find did not have anything. These are uh, these are the Walmart single boards. Even the even the processor is stuck in the board. This thing is the only thing you can change on it is the RAM and pull out the Wi-Fi card if you want and add some USBs. It's dinky. So, with that being said, that got us 20 hashes a second and was a failed experiment. But, you know, we keep it running for shits and giggles right now until I have my other build finished. And again, these are all old, old donated parts. Freaking, you know, no more than $30 spent on anything if it was on eBay when we needed the part. Um, speaking of parts, you'll need, um, PCIe extender if you're trying to do multiple um, GPU rigs, which is entirely recommended. I would recommend doing six, three to six, whatever your budget is, but you can start with one. And then I would make sure to get the SATA powered port, as opposed to what's most commonly sold is these guys, which most, that's, a, you'll need, you'll, if you buy one of these, you'll need then the, the SATA connector that basically you'll, this thing, which is a SATA to the six, six hole, six pin, hole, pin, and uh, that'll power it, but it's pretty much just easier to just, if you're going to get the, this, like save the money and just get this straight to the SATA thing, and then get a bunch of SATA Y splitter cables, actually, so then you have a bunch of SATA power, so that was my solution for that whole obnoxiousness of powering all this stuff, because that was the first problem I ran into immediately, like I've been able to get two graphics cards into this one with my 550 watt real power. Even though it's pretty good for gaming, it's definitely not set up for like crazy mining and stuff, which is where you're just getting your computer to do work. Lastly, these things usually come with these things, along with a USB 3.0 cable. And that'll make it so you can mount them on the outside of whatever case you choose. Again, I recommend doing <coughs> an open open case. F U N T L F U. But in here we have the Athlon 2. It's a quad core, uh, over 3 gigahertz. But I've actually been running this Asus GTX 570. Or one of our fans died, so we kind of just modded some new heat sinks into the bitch. Uh, figured that would work for now. And then it's running a Windows 10 clone, 64-bit, uh, running, and bam, after, whatchamacallit, overclocking it successfully, we're pulling over 220 hashes a second, which is fantastic, because this is not a mining rig. This would also work fantastic as a regular roll game. It's got 8 gigs of RAM in it and everything. But, it's all old. Everything in it is outdated. Beyond. Beyond. I mean, they've got these now. And, and better. They got the 10,000s. So, for old stuff, it's definitely worth it. Uh, put all your old stuff to work uh, instead of if you're, if you're trying to sell it or anything. I would put it back together in some functional set you can. That's another thing I'm doing here. I took this case out of uh, retirement, gave it a nice paint job so that I wouldn't feel so gross 
about it. And we threw this Asus F2A55 in there for $30. And uh, we'll try and get that up and running next. Hopefully with uh, at least two GPUs and uh, maybe even more. We got that extra third slot. But the next thing I think I'm doing is uh, Raspberry Pis or something fun like that. But needless to say, we'll get to the software part. This part. Look for XMR stack. You can find it through Crypto Easy Miner. You can find it through XMR stack straight on GitHub. But um, and you'll want to just make a batch file. Simply with wherever you save it, you're gonna want to type location of where you're keeping your XMR stack and then just do dash dash no CPU no AM if it's uh, NVIDIA that you're running do no AMD if it's no AMD that you're running do no NVIDIA and then do no no UAC this way it doesn't ask you every single time are you sure you want to run this <coughs> excuse me then you're all set to go also cite the location of the config file you saved. So uh, just write config.txt. It'll automatically make one and save one even if it's not there. But uh, for the first time, and this is for to run it all the time, just for those advanced users, that's an advanced tip. Otherwise, click exit, double click it, and uh, here we'll go ahead and shut this off. Yes! We'll restart it without it. Since I'm running NVIDIA, you'll have, I'll say a NVIDIA file, there should be blank, there shouldn't be any text files until after you run this. you have to go through, and for Electronium, you know, it'll ask you if you're, if you're doing Monero or Aeon, type Monero. And then uh, I use either EasyHash or ProxPool, but there's tons of pools for many of them. And whatever pool you do, do usually this will, it'll start mining it, so make sure you have the right wallet. You'll also need an offline wallet. Oh man, I forgot. Go to the Electronium site, the official site, and um, then download it, and it'll pop up in your downloads. Extract the folder and open up the page. I'm not going to open up mine and show you all my keys, but uh, <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. You'll take that and easily just, uh, I just keep it the main, keep the main one in like a simple text file. file. And uh, you can uh, you can encrypt that if you want or whatever for uh, safety. But yeah, insert your wallet address and then uh, just follow. Most of the instructions on there are telling you, you know, if no, if you don't know, just hit no. Uh, it's pretty easy. But once you do, you should be you should be right in. Um, I disabled most of the uh, stuff on this computer because it's on a pretty isolated. Uh, it's on its own personal network, which is isolated from the main, but working pretty good. It's working pretty good. Um, that's just how to get started, you know. Um, obviously, you can build from there. The software end was a little bit of a bitch, but um, I found the XMR stack was the best. It can uh, just automatically recognizes all your shit. It can run the CPUs with the uh, GPUs, but I found if you do a no CPU run and just run it GPU only. But yeah, that's my little nerd minute with Aries and Amora. Now to show you all some plans. Can't always be out in nature. Sometimes I gotta bring it to me. But this has been another Aries in Water segment. If you like this project and are interested in seeing me actually be able to do more of these projects and exert my plans physically, you can support me on Patreon or contact me directly via email. I take donations of any kind. Electronium, Bitcoin, old parts, um, there's always something in it for those who support. Um, if you already have, this 
GTX was an awesome donation from Chase, as well as the Asus was another awesome donation from another good friend, Lou. Uh, they've all helped pretty much in some way or another put this together and make it possible for me. Um, we'll be having more music coming out of the studio, so if you like the music projects and everything like that, you know, help me out any way you can if you have exposable in, uh, expendable income. <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, wherever, Twitter, Facebook, all the same name, baby. Aries in Amora. Mad love, stay swifty. Stay secure, stay informed, and we stay free. Aries out. <laughs>